Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jamie Hooper with Remax Select Properties and the Home Advantage team. And along with my partner, Gina Fraser, and the rest of our team, we've put together a fun video for you showing seven different exciting activities that you can do on your visit to Vancouver, BC. Our first stop is Stanley Park. Vancouver's iconic urban park spanning over 1,000 acres of lush greenery, scenic views, and a rich history. My favorite part of Stanley Park is a 9km seawall that surrounds the park. It's actually the world's longest uninterrupted waterfront path. If you like to walk, jog, or cycle, there's no other setting to do it in like Stanley Park. The totem poles at Brockton Point are one of the most visited attractions in Vancouver, BC, showcasing the art and culture of the indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest. Take a trip to the Vancouver, BC Public Aquarium, check out the Stanley Park Rose Garden, or even take a ride in a horse-drawn carriage. Whether you're at Stanley Park to exercise, enjoy nature, this huge urban park is definitely a must-see on your next trip to Vancouver, BC. Our next stop is Granville Island. Granville Island is one of the city's most vibrant destinations and it's located right in the heart of Vancouver, BC. Granville Island is definitely a must visit for tourists and locals alike. The main showpiece of Granville Island is for sure the public market. It's a food lover's paradise offering amazing displays of locally grown produce, freshly caught seafood and dazzling dessert. While you're wandering around the island, you'll be entertained by street performers, musicians, magicians, and even some artists. If arts and crafts are your thing, there are lots of shops and studios showcasing local artists' work, such as handmade pottery, jewelry, and even some unique souvenirs and gifts. My favorite part of the island, without a doubt, is the restaurant and bar scene, featuring different cuisines from around the world, and some even have spectacular views of the Falls Creek waterfront. So whether you're four years old or 84 years old, Granville Island needs to be on your bucket list when you visit Vancouver, BC. This is Science World, situated on the east side of Falls Creek in Vancouver, BC. It's got a really cool, unique dome that stands out as a symbol of innovation and discovery. Once you're inside, a whole new world of scientific wonder opens up, with a wide range of exhibits and activities for all ages. There's hands-on exhibits that explore physics, biology, and technology through interactive displays that make learning fun. Whether you're a local or a tourist, you don't want to miss this one when you're in Vancouver, BC. So Vancouver, BC is divided into three parts. There's downtown Vancouver, which is the original part of Vancouver, which does not have any detached houses. It's just all condos and townhomes. Then there's the west side of Vancouver, which has a mixture of all three, detached houses, townhomes, and condos, as well as the east side of Vancouver has those as well. To give you some idea about uh, real estate pricing in Vancouver, BC, we'll just give you a few quick shots here. In Greater Vancouver, including suburbs, so in the entire area, including the Fraser Valley, the cost of a detached house is $1,680,000. On the west side of Vancouver, it's $3.6 million. And on the east side of Vancouver, it's $2,023,000. When we talk about townhouses, the entire Greater Vancouver area, again, the uh, median price of a townhouse is $925,000. Uh, the west side of Vancouver is $1,410,000, east side of Vancouver $1,115,000, and then downtown $1,562,000. And if we're talking about condo prices, Greater Vancouver, you can just see the different prices for one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedroom condos. Then we've got the prices on the west side for the same, the east side, and downtown. If you're thinking of buying any real estate on your next trip to Vancouver, feel free to give us a call and check us out or just click the link right below this video and it'll take you to our schedule and you can book a free consultation to ask any questions you have about Greater Vancouver Real Estate. If you're thinking about moving to Vancouver, BC and are curious about real estate and have questions, just click on the link below this video and you can book a free one-on-one -on -one phone consultation with myself, my partner Gina Fraser or one of the other members of our team. So whether you're going to move here in nine days or nine months, we're happy to talk. Now let's get back to the fun stuff. Number four, checking out Vancouver's most popular beaches. Let's start with English Bay Beach. Vancouver, BC is where the city meets the sea. 
Very few North American cities have beaches right downtown, and that's why we wanted to start with English Bay, which is located right downtown in the heart of Vancouver, BC. Like all beaches, it's perfect for sunbathing, swimming, and amazing people watching. There's also plenty of restaurants and outdoor patios surrounding the beach area. English Bay Beach is also host to the original polar bear swim started way back in 1920 and happens every New Year's Day. Next up is Kitsilano Beach, or referred to by the locals as Kits Beach in Vancouver, BC. This is a favorite local beach because of its sandy shores, beach volleyball, basketball, and spectacular views of the North Shore Mountains. It's also home to Kitsilano Pool. It's a saltwater pool that opened in 1931, and at 137 meters long, it's the longest outdoor swimming pool in North America. Further west from Kitts Beach is Spanish Banks, one of Vancouver's most picturesque and expansive beaches. It's situated along the western edge of the city. Spanish Banks also offers sandy shores, breathtaking views of downtown Vancouver, BC, and the North Shore Mountains. Low tide is the best part of Spanish Banks, and it's amazing because of its extensive tidal flats. When the tide goes out, it reveals a large expanse of sandy beach that seems to go on forever, and it's perfect for walking, jogging, throwing a frisbee, or throwing a football around. Make sure you check out Spanish Banks on your next trip to Vancouver, BC. Next up is Second Beach. Second Beach is located within Stanley Park, Vancouver, BC. This is a great beach for families and children to enjoy during their visit to Stanley Park. A big highlight of Second Beach is the heated outdoor pool. The pool overlooks the ocean in a beautiful setting and has one section that's specifically dedicated to families and kids. Keeping up with the family atmosphere at the beach, there are tons of grassy areas with picnic tables surrounded by playgrounds and the beauty of Stanley Park and the ocean. The Pacific National Exhibition, or PNE as it's known around Vancouver, BC, is one of the oldest beloved events within the city and has a history tracing back to 1910. It's held annually during the last two weeks of August at Hastings Park in East Vancouver. So whether you're into adrenaline pumping roller coasters, and I'm going to tell you the PNE has one of the world's most famous roller coasters, to classic carnival rides, there's something for everyone on the fairgrounds. One of the hardest decisions at the PNE are the food options, with more food vendors and choices than you can imagine. The PNE is a Vancouver, BC classic, and it offers fun and creates memories for everyone. Whether you're there for the rides, the food, the entertainment, you're going to have an unforgettable time when you're here. Make sure you check out the PNE on your next trip. Gross Mountain is one of Vancouver, BC's premier year-round destinations for outdoor beauty and just spectacularly breathtaking views. It's only 15 minutes from downtown and offers an amazing escape into nature. The Gross Mountain Skyride is North America's largest aerial tramway. It ascends 1,100 meters above sea level and offers spectacular panoramic views of the city and ocean. When you reach the top in winter months, Grouse Mountain transforms itself into a snowy winter wonderland. In the summertime, the mountain is just as exciting. If you're up to it, you can even take a hike up the famous Grouse Grind. And it's a challenging 2.9 kilometer trail that I guarantee you will get your heart pumping. The Capilano Suspension Bridge and Park is without a doubt the most exhilarating place we're going to be talking about in this video today. It's situated in the heart of the North Shore Mountains in Vancouver, BC, and has been thrilling people since 1889. The centerpiece of the park is the bridge itself. The bridge spans 137 meters across, longer than a football field, and 70 meters high above the Capilano River and rapids. The park itself features lots of First Nations heritage through the educational displays of totem poles. And if you like, you can also explore the beauty of the rainforest on the park's numerous nature trails. So that's it for this video. We'd love to know your comments and thoughts down below if you care to make any or maybe subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're planning a move to Vancouver, BC, feel free to reach out to us either by phone, email, or just click on the link below this video and book your free consultation.